golden crispy wings that are perfectly cooked. But this isn't chicken, it's cauliflower. Today, on Grandma Bessie's house, we are making crispy buffalo cauliflower wings that are so good you will find it hard not to leave an empty plate. So before we begin cooking, prepare celery and carrot sticks to eat along with this dish. The recipe and its ingredients are in the video's description. To make our seriously good buffalo sauce, add sriracha sauce to your favorite hot sauce. Add melted butter, lemon zest, and lemon juice. Stir until thoroughly combined and set aside. Take a few seconds to like and share this video. If you enjoy watching our videos, help our channel grow. You can do this by clicking the subscribe button below the video and enabling notifications. Moving on to making crispy cauliflower, fill a pot with water and bring it to a boil. Cut cauliflower into florets and inspect the florets. If needed, break them into smaller pieces and remove any pieces of stem that are stuck to the florets. To get the best flavor from your spices, activate them by toasting spices for one minute over medium heat. Set aside. When water begins to boil, add cauliflower and boil for one to two minutes. Immediately drain and rinse with cold water. Allow cauliflower to cool. To make batter, add cornmeal to flour Also, add toasted spices and combine. Continue to stir while adding water until the batter becomes the consistency of pancake batter. Allow batter to rest for 10 minutes. As the batter sits, add panko breadcrumbs to a bowl. Do you have a favorite finger food? What is it? Let us know in the comments section below. Coat each cauliflower florette with batter. Allow excess batter to drain and coat with panko breadcrumbs. Sit coated florets on a wire baking rack. Spray a skillet with nonstick spray and add vegetable oil. Allow oil to heat over medium heat to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. When oil reaches 300 degrees, add cauliflower. Cook in batches and do not overcrowd the pan. Now these will cook fast about one and a half to two minutes per side. Cook until golden brown and remove cauliflower from skillet.
Place your super crispy cauliflower on a wire rack to drain. Grab your seriously good buffalo sauce and place some in a condiment bowl. Coat cauliflower wings with the remaining buffalo sauce. I want to take a few seconds to show you just how perfectly crispy this cauliflower is. And guess what? It's extremely tender on the inside. Getting back to coating the wings, keep a few plain without the buffalo sauce. If you have enjoyed this recipe, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Also, help support our channel by subscribing and clicking the notifications button. To serve, fill platter with cauliflower wings. Your choices of sauce, celery, and carrots. This is good finger food eating for game day or any day. Thank you for watching another episode of Grandma Bessie's House.